Good morning, my friends, and welcome back to the channel. I am Pastor Emeritus, Reverend Ron L. Spratley of Covenant of Grace Ministries. We're going to get straight into our teaching as we usually do. We have a prophetic soundbite this morning coming from our eschatology series, which deals with the doctrine of the last things. You know, we've been talking about the believer's attitude toward physical death. We've been using the scripture as the absolute truth to help develop our attitude around this particular subject. This subject is part of the salvation process, so we need to cover it. It is an event that happens as part of the salvation process. So let's look at this concept, attitude. It's a settled thought pattern, a pattern of thinking or emotional feeling about someone or something. It typically reflected in a person's behavior. So you can develop a construct, pattern of thinking, okay? And if we're going to develop a pattern, we want that pattern to be based on the truth. So in our last teaching on the believer's attitude, we told you that the duration of life, the duration of physical life was in God's hands. So today we're going to be talking about physical death brings intimate communion with Yahweh in Christ. It brings communion with God in Christ. So let's look at our scripture as we continue to shape our construct or our thinking or our mindset around this. We're going to look at Luke 23, 39 through 45. And one of the malefactors which were hanged railed on him saying, if thou be Christ, save thyself and us. But the other answering rebuked him saying, does thou not fear God seeing that thou art in the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds. But this man has done nothing amiss. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou cometh into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, verily, I say unto thee, today, today, shall thou be with me in paradise. So we're establishing physical death brings intimate communion with God in Christ. So we see one of the guys who were crucified with Jesus, Jesus told him, today shall thou be with me in paradise. So let's look at another scripture here. Physical death brings intimate communion with God in Christ. Acts 7 and 59, and they stoned Stephen. They stoned him to death. You've read the story, okay? And they stoned Stephen. He was calling upon the Lord and saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. That's his human spirit going into intimate communion with God in Christ. Let's look at our key principle. 2 Corinthians 5. One through seven, for we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, house made, a house not made with hands, eternal in heaven. For in this we groan honestly, desiring to be clothed upon with our house, which is from heaven. If so, be that being clothed, we shall not be found, what? Naked. For we that are in this tabernacle do groan, being what? Burden. Not for that we would not be unclothed, but clothed upon, that mortality might be swallowed up of life. Right? Okay. Now he that had wrought us for the self-same thing in God, who has given unto us the earnest of the what? The down payment of the spirit, okay? 
Therefore, we always confident knowing that while we are home in the body, we are absent from the Lord, for we walk by faith, not by sight. Okay, this is the second part of our construct. First part, we said the duration of life was in God's hand. The second construct, all based on scripture, we are telling you physical death brings intimate communion with God, with Yahweh in Christ. So with these teachings, we're shaping your mindset. We're shaping your attitude. Okay, we're shaking your mental construct around this subject. We thank you once again for your time. May God bless you until we have the opportunity to bring you another word from God. Be blessed, my friends.